A very good day to all our viewers and thank you for tuning in to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. We are thrilled to have you here and if you are keen to expand your knowledge by accessing our free news, please don't forget to subscribe. Your support is deeply appreciated by all of us at Polymer Update. Let us begin. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me Michelle Kim. It is Tuesday, May 9th. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil prices gained on Monday with a rise in the non-farm employment numbers in the United States. The rise in prices was also triggered by a shutdown in oil production in Canada's main oil producing province of Alberta. Brent crude prices rose by $1.71 settling at $77.01 per barrel while WTI futures increased by $1.80 settling at $73.16 per barrel. On Monday, OpenSpec naphtha prices rose sharply by $23 per metric ton at the $610 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Are you looking to enhance your knowledge of polymer materials and their use in the automotive industry? Look no further. Polymer Update Academy and MIT Oring Abad have partnered to bring you a joint certification program featuring a masterclass workshop on polymers in automotive applications led by Professor Prashant Gupta, a distinguished polymer technologist. Throughout this workshop, you'll learn about the mechanical, thermal, and chemical properties of polymer materials, their synthesis and properties, and their use in various automotive applications. You'll also have the opportunity to gain a joint certification from Polymer Update Academy and MIT Oring Bod, which will enhance your career prospects and validate your expertise in this field. Don't miss this chance to expand your knowledge and earn a valuable certification. For additional information, please check the details in the description box. Back to the feedstock news for Asia, Europe, and the US. In Asia on Monday, propylene prices inched lower on account of weak demand trends in the region. On Monday, FOB Korea propylene prices were assessed at the $870 to $880 per metric ton levels, a drop of $5 per metric ton from Friday's assessed levels. CFR China propylene prices on Monday were assessed at the $890 to $900 per metric ton levels, a fall of $5 per metric ton from Friday. In Asia on Monday, ethylene prices quoted flat. In Europe on Monday, ethylene and propylene prices were assessed as stable. In the United States on Monday, ethylene prices edged higher while polymer-grade propylene prices rose and refinery-grade propylene prices remained stable. Before we move on to futures on the China Dolly and Commodity Exchange for today please to click on the bell icon to subscribe to our free news channel and if you like today's video please remember to like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It motivates us to continue to bring you this free informative news service on a daily basis. Back to the futures on China's Dolly and Commodity Exchange. On May 9, 2023. LLDPE prices are higher by RMB 15 per metric ton at RMB 7,940 to per metric ton. PP prices are up by RMB 6 per metric ton at RMB 7,335 per metric ton. PVC prices are higher by RMB 4 per metric ton at RMB 5,991 per metric ton. MEG prices are up by RMB 8 per metric ton at RMB 4,328 per metric ton. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update with me Michelle Kim from Polymer Update's Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.